This is a First Alert 5 weather alert. I still really like showing this graphic even after showing it a few times already this morning because it really paints the picture of what we're seeing here in Colorado. You see that big plume of moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico right into our state. Now this is a lot more moisture than we typically see with storm systems here and that's why we're seeing pretty intense rain and snow across so much of our area. And as we take a look across the state right now, you can see most of us are seeing either rain or snow, higher terrain generally seeing the snow, lower terrain generally seeing the rain. So let's time things out for you. We're tracking the heavy rain and snow today. The rain and snow level, as we've been talking about the last several days, is around 6,000 feet. So if you're above that, you should expect mainly snow. Below that, mainly rain. Now the Southern Mountains, Teller County, and Monument Hill are going to get the most snow out of this system. And that rain and snow will generally end for all of us late this evening into early tomorrow with a few lingering showers for us on Sunday morning. Now taking a live look at radar, you can see on your screen here that we have had a changeover in the last couple of hours from rain to snow along the uh, Palmer Divide on between Lyman and Monument and down towards the Springs. Generally speaking, we've seen fairly heavy rainfall rates and that's cooled our air just a couple of degrees and that's allowed for that changeover to occur. In Pueblo, you're seeing moderate to heavy showers right now. And then as we head towards the Southern Mountains, as you can see, we're tracking fairly heavy snow showers. So a closer look at Monument Hill, one half inch to one inch per hour snowfall rates. You see these patches of heavier snow embedded within the overall system right now. That's going to really start to intensify for us later today in terms of the contrast between where it's snowing heavily and lightly as we see more snow banding develop. Now in the Southern Mountains, we're already seeing that one to two inch per hour snowfall rates for our Southern Mountains right now. And you can see that for the lower elevations, we're still tracking those rain showers. Now as we take a look at future casts for the rest of your morning into the early afternoon, over Overall, we're going to continue to see a pretty similar picture through that time period as we've been talking about all the way between Denver and Trinidad and into our mountains. If you're on the eastern plains though, we're going to see a bit of a drier patch moving in so you won't be seeing any rain or snow, just some clouds until later this evening when we'll see some moderate rain showers, very patchy in nature moving through once again. Now Saturday night, that's when we're going to start to bring the energy to the east as we can see here and we'll start to clear things out from west to east by Sunday morning. So by Sunday at noon, most of us are going to be seeing clear skies on the eastern plains. You might still have a few remnant snow showers, rain showers, and those will be out of here by the evening. Now taking a look at our weather alerts right now, generally our higher terrain has winter storm warnings in effect. So our southern mountains, the Raton Mesa, Monument Hill, the Palmer Divide, Woodland Park are all under winter storm warnings until 5 a.m. tomorrow. So generally speaking, avoid traveling over those areas if you can. It's not going to be fun, it will be very slippery. As far as accumulations are concerned, I've got us at two to seven inches still in the springs. The springs is a pretty large area. So if you are south or east, for example, near the airport or near Fountain, closer to two inches. If you are near Briargate or Rock Rimmon, closer to seven inches. Further to the north on Monument Hill, we'll see the highest totals, nine to 14 inches, and then pretty healthy totals as well for Woodland Park and for our southern mountains where we see some thunderstorm energy, which is gonna help us to uh, enhance those totals. Here's a current look at Woodland Park. Here's what you should expect in our higher terrain, 29 degrees, snow-covered roadways for us, temperatures in the mid to upper 30s for you right now. Highs today will generally be pretty similar to that in the mid to upper 30s to lower 40s. Now, as we take a look at your super seven day forecast, we are still at a three out of five today in the springs as we track that wet snow. But again, it depends on where you are as to how much snow you're going to see. Sunday, we're gonna be clearing out. So there will be some icy patches on the roads. Be prepared for that. We may see a refreeze this evening with our temperatures generally falling below freezing. Nice weather to start our next week before we track a rain chance on Thursday. It looks fairly modest, 10 to 20% chances, but nonetheless, that's your next weather maker. In Pueblo, one out of five storm impact for you today and tomorrow with rain mainly expected due to the higher temperatures before we're back in the 60s by Tuesday, which is going to feel really nice in our next rain chance coming your way on Thursday. Now in Canyon City, a two out of five mixture of rain and snow, more snow moving in this evening, kind of a mixture during the day. Again, some icy patches tomorrow morning back to the 60s early next week, and then we'll track that next chance for rain for you on Thursday. Woodland Park, you've got quite a bit of active weather on your way. In addition to today, you'll see some morning snow showers tomorrow, some calm weather to start your week, and then mountain snow showers are going to return for you on Wednesday and Thursday. And Casey, we know in the high country, travel is going to be really rough. Uh, I was just seeing some videos on social media of some of the plow trucks working uh, the stretch of I-25 between Castle Rock and the Palmer Divide. And 
there's no other way to put it. If you do have to travel that way, just give yourself extra time because this definitely looks like it's going to be impacted and slow going. Yeah, absolutely. Like all day. That's what we've really been trying to emphasize this morning. It's what the models are showing. If you don't have to travel over the higher terrain, it's a good day to spend inside. Watch News 5, spend time with your family and friends, cook a nice meal. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks for tracking this. I know it's been a lot of work this morning, Casey.